Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Solar Impact. This is a 2019 film, it came out last November, and it runs a little under an hour and a half. It stars Grace Dixon, Oliver Goodwill, and Polly Kilpatrick. The description, solar debris crashes down to earth, causing widespread destruction and unleashing solar radiation around the world. As genetic mutations rapidly spread, a group of friends must fight to stay alive and escape the chaos. This has a pretty poor grade online, but it only has 246 grades. So it is available and people are watching it, sort of, but generally the opinion is that this movie is poor. This is Solar Impact. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you'd like any correspondence with me outside of YouTube, I do have my Facebook page. It's called Danny's Movies and Music. If you'd like to check that out, I have a lot of bonus content on there. Um, thank you uh, for watching this video, but this is one movie that I think collectively everybody can pretty much agree on is pretty bad. Um, the source that I was able to watch it through um, seems like... <sighs> It's just fuzzy, the sound is off, but I think that is possibly the movie also. But I tried to keep my bright side of things point of view going during this movie because I can understand that it's not exactly being put out there in the best light, and so people aren't able to gather the best opinion about it. And um, it's obviously not in theaters, you know, people aren't buying it on DVD, I don't think. So this isn't the best way to watch it, but I was able to be exposed to it. And so I tried to keep, you know, a positive mindset because I was feeling sorry for the movie more than anything. Um, I will say that the acting in this movie is below par, but I was feeling sorry for it. So I tried to keep, you know, interested in the movie as much as possible. I will say the storyline of this movie is below par. Um, doesn't make much sense. People don't react to things as well as they should. But, um, you know, I was feeling sorry for the movie. So I wanted to, you know, try and say okay, you know, to that thing and okay to that thing. And, uh, you know, uh, it's pretty typical for any kind of movie like this for people wondering what's going on, trying to be explained, and then reacting, you know, to zombies. And so it's just kind of a, uh, you know, fine way of handling it. But when I saw the movie called Solar Impact, I thought it'd be like, you know, continuous flares, number one. And number two, maybe not, you know, turning people into things, but more the fact that there are flares coming down from the sky. You know, the the graphics and the blowing up buildings and burning of the buildings uh, isn't all that impressive. But the idea of solar flares coming down right and left, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, what's a movie that's kind of better than this? You know, The the Day After Tomorrow, I think, is one. A little bit more well done, but well-known actors. There's continuous stuff coming. I'm sure their budget was, you know, millions of dollars for graphics and stuff, but there's continuous things happening, whether it be the ground breaking up or, you know, bridges falling, you know. Um, so this just is a poor version of, you know, good movies, good ideas. It's on the right track. Um, so that's why I want to give it a little bit of credit and give you a little bit of a glimpse that it might be worth something is that it has the right idea, it has the right reactions, it has the right situation, it just doesn't have the budget for that other movies do of this kind. And when movies have a budget that make this idea, we think, oh wow, you know, that's such a great movie. So I'm going to give Solar Impact a C-, uh, it's just above my lowest grade, and I just think that it's a movie to feel sorry for. It's not a movie to trash. It's not a movie to say, oh, this is awful, this is awful. You know, oh, it shouldn't have ever been made. Um, I think it's a fine movie. It has fine stuff happen in it, but it's not really worth your time. So if you want to avoid this, it's understandable. 
a C minus for solar impact. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any other videos, try to get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.